History of Our Lady of Knots The devotion to Mary and Tire of Knots is about 300 years old but became more widely known when Pope Francis spoke about it and promoted it through his papacy and when he was an archbishop of Buenos Aires, Argentina. Unlike many other Marian devotions, the devotion to Mother Mary and Tire of Knots did not come about through an apparition but through her intercession. The story. German nobleman Wolfgang Langenmantel and his wife Sophie had marital problems and were wanted to get divorced. Wolfgang was very deeply hurt and worried and went to a Jesuit priest, Father Jacob Rem, for counseling. They both prayed together to the Blessed Virgin Mary for Wolfgang's marriage each time they met. While meeting for the last time on September 28, 1615, Wolfgang provided Father Rem his wedding ribbon which was used during his wedding ceremony to tie the couple together as a symbol of unity. Then Father Rem took the ribbon, lifted it up next to an image of Our Lady of the Snows and asked Mother Mary to untie the knots of Wolfgang's marriage. After his prayer, Suddenly, the ribbon loosened completely, untied and became extremely white. After this event, Wolfgang and Sophie reconciled. After some years, Wolfgang and Sophie's grandson, Father Hieronymus, Langen Mantel, became a priest and asked for a painting to be done in memory of the story. This beautiful painting was painted by Joan Melcoir, George, Smithner. In the painting, Mother Mary unties the knots of marriage, not only marriages or relations, every kind of knot in our life. One angel gives her the knotted ribbon, while the other angel holds the unknotted side and presents it to us. In the painting, Mother Mary also crushes Satan's head, representing her immaculate conception. The dove above her head symbolizes her spouse, the Holy Spirit. At the bottom, St. Raphael the Archangel accompanies Wolfgang walking towards a monastery. And this beautiful painting was painted in the year 1700. It is on display at St. Peter's Church in Augsburg, Bavaria in Germany. Pope Francis, while studying in Germany in the 1980s, went to this church and saw this painting and stuck by that. He took a copy of the painting while coming back to Argentina. From there, the devotion was spread across. The Novena of Our Lady of Antair of Knots was one of the most powerful novenas. Even the Satan Beelzebub said in its own words that he hates the Novena of Our Lady of Knots. It says that it was annoying to it when we pray the Novena. So this was the story of Our Lady of Antair of Knots. Devotion to Our Lady Antair of Knots was very powerful. Let's devote ourselves to Our Lady Untire of Knots and let our sweet mother untie all the knots in our life. Ave Maria. Thanks for watching.